Maintenance will fall into two categories, keeping the rain garden working and keeping it looking good. Now let's jump into our year-by-year -year checklist. In growing season one, be aware of invaders, be it the turf grass from your lawn or weeds that sneak into the basin. Here are some tips for year one. One way to ensure your garden achieves enough density is to plant fewer species of plants in larger massings. Be sure each massing has enough plants to easily distinguish between what you planted and what are weeds sneaking in. Make sure plants have enough space to grow to their optimum widths and heights without crowding one another. This will help create a successful yet low maintenance rain garden. Good for you getting those plants in the ground. But beyond the plants, there's another key ingredient you've got to keep in mind, mulch. When a rain garden is first installed, typically about three inches of hardwood shredded mulch is applied. It will take plants a few years to mature and fill in the garden, so applying mulch ensures the garden's soil is shaded to prevent weed germination and reduces water needs for young plants. The bark will also break down about an inch and a half each year, so after two full growing seasons, you'll be down to zero inches of bark, with hopefully more established plants now filling out the garden. Mulch will be a huge help in keeping out weeds and holding everything in place. It also amends the soil when it breaks down, increasing water absorption. But even with mulch applied, be prepared to lose a few plants in the beginning. A major rainfall could wash away seedlings before they get established. It's a good idea to keep a list or outline a sketch of what was planted, as well as know what the growing stages of each plant look like to properly maintain your garden and only remove plants which don't belong. Minnesota Wildflowers and the USDA's Plants Database website are both great references for familiarizing yourself with your garden's plants. Here are a few more quick reminders for your rain garden's first year. To save money during planting projects, often plugs are used which can dry out quickly. Don't forget to water plants, increasing the amount during the hot part of the summer. Even native plants need water during establishment. Regularly remove accumulated debris and sediment as well as repair mulch washouts. Wait, accumulated debris and sediment? This may sound unappealing, but remember this is the benefit of the rain garden. Preventing this gunk from damaging trout streams, lakes, and rivers is what it's all about. And not to worry, there are techniques and devices to make this cleanup a cinch. One of the challenges with curb-cut rain gardens is the amount of sediment and debris that gets carried into them from the street, and how to best deal with it for whoever's doing the maintenance. As we mentioned earlier, a rain guardian pre-treatment chamber is a great option for curb-cut rain gardens, as it provides a stable inlet for water while capturing sediment, leaf litter, and garbage that may pass through. It was developed in Minnesota by the Anoka Conservation District for this purpose. Maintenance of this device is fairly simple, taking roughly five minutes or less. Otherwise, plan on shoveling debris like candy wrappers out of the rain garden and replacing bark washouts. For the other types of rain gardens, maintenance is just like other perennial gardening. According to area homeowners who have had them for a few years, maintenance is only around two to three hours a month. Cleaning out sediment from the rain garden entrance after every rain is key. So we're talking a handful of hours a month to maintain an established rain garden. You can handle that, right? And there are some innovative homegrown solutions to capturing that sediment too. You can also use larger stone pieces like flagstone, riprap, small boulders, or even a grass filter strip as the inlet into the rain garden. Now let's move on to growing season two. Growing season two is when a lot of little things can catch up to you. Forgot about watering during dry spells. Weeds like dandelions blew in. Mulch decomposed. Perennial weeds started to spread under the foliage of desirable plants, robbing the good guys of nutrients and water. Forgot to clean the sediment and debris out of the rain garden, and it killed plants or doesn't look as good. Plants were selected that will not achieve enough density to ever grow together. Next up, what happens when an older rain garden is not properly maintained and may need a revamp? 